While this bill is well-intentioned and having a livable wage in New Jersey is something that we discuss quite a bit and it's a laudable goal, um, one of the reasons you know, New Jersey right now is very difficult for the middle class is because we are amongst the most expensive in almost every category. <coughs> And my concerns in putting this bill through, in addition to setting precedent for a whole host of other industries, we're raising the minimum wage for these workers to $17.98 per hour. With benefits, we're at over $22 per hour. Newark Airport is already one of, if not the most, one of the most expensive airports in the entire country for passengers and for fares and for airlines. And according to the FAA, the airline costs at Newark are 15 percent higher than even JFK, which is the second most expensive airport in the country. This increase would essentially double wages for airport workers overnight. And I think everybody sitting in these chambers understand that the airlines are not going to absorb that cost. That cost is going to be passed down to consumers. And we have a middle class in the state that struggles with the highest fares for transportation, the highest toll numbers. We used to have a low gas you know, uh, price. That is no longer. And I have grave concerns about the unintended consequences of us doing this, the costs that are going to be passed down to all the consumers. One of the only upsides that we have at the moment in trying to retain and bring in corporations to help sustain our state is the fact that we have Newark Airport and direct flights. And if we make it too expensive, We've now given another reason for people not to look at our state. And I just think that you know, while the airlines and the employees should be negotiating in good faith to come up with a better wage, you know, for us to interfere and intervene in this, you know, where do we stop? 